In this video, we're gonna have a look at the effective rates of interest and how we can actually use the TI-84 plus CE calculator to find the effective rates of interest quite quickly. But first of all, what is the effective rate of interest? Well, I want you to consider for a moment what sort of account would generate more interest. Would a 6% interest rate compounding half yearly or a 5.94% interest rate compounding monthly? Well, let's use this calculator for a moment to compare maybe $1,000 invested over one year and see which one would generate the most interest. To do that, I'd quickly go into my apps and my finance TMV solver and let's enter these amounts. If I was investing at 6% for one year compounding half yearly, one year would be two times one. The percent would be 6% and I'm investing $1,000. The payments per term we're gonna leave, the future value we're gonna leave, and the payments per year and compounding per year will be two for this example. Our future value here, if we're doing 6% compounding twice per year, after one year we'll have $1,060.90 in our account. But let's compare that to see what happens when we change to a 5.94% interest rate, which means it's generating less interest every time it compounds, but instead we're gonna compound it monthly. So a number of times in that one year will be 12 times. Our interest rate is now going to be 5.94%. We're still investing the same amount of money, but the payments and compounds per year will be 12. Now, when we calculate that future value, we find it to be just slightly more at $1,061 and approximately four cents. So effectively, you're actually generating more interest in this situation in the lower percentage because it's compounding more often. So it can be difficult to make a straight off comparison when we're looking at the percentage of interest per annum unless we have another way to measure this. And that's where the effective rates of interest come in. It allows us to compare different interest rates with each other. Now to calculate the effective rate, we use part of the compound interest formula. It comes from this one plus the I over K but instead of to the power of kn, we're just looking to the power of k, where k is the number of times that interest compounds per year, and i is our interest rate per annum. But we then subtract one off to get ourselves the actual comparative rate. Now, if we were to do this by hand, in our 6% interest rate, that would be one plus the 6% which we represent as a decimal, 0.06, over the number of times it was compounding per year, which was twice, to the power of two. And we would subtract one afterwards. So if we use the calculator to quickly input this, oops, and then subtract one from the answer, I would find that the 6% interest rate compounding half yearly had an effective interest rate of 0.0609, which was 6.09%. Uh, In comparison to the 5.94, this would be equal to your one plus 0.0594 divided by the number of uh, compounding periods per year, so 12 to the power of 12, subtract one. If I put this into my calculator, I'd find that it equals approximately 0 0.06104, which is approximately 6.10%. So what I can find here by using an equation is that the second account has a more effective rate of interest than the first account. But there is something within this calculator here that can automatically calculate this for us. And we only need to know the interest rate and the number of times it compounds per year. 
To do that, we need to go into our apps function. We wanna go into our finance function. Now there's something off the screen here, so if we scroll down, until we get to the C option, we'll find something called effective with a bracket. If we hit enter here, it'll ask us for the information. You need to put in your percentage. So if we took the first one, 6%, we put in the 6%, and then we put a comma, which is just located here. Now it'll require the number of times it compounds per year. So the 6% was compounding half yearly. So if we put the two in here and close a bracket and hit the enter, it'll automatically do this process for us and tell us as a percentage what the effective rate of interest was when it was 6% compounding half yearly. We can repeat the process to compare it with the 5.94%. So we go into apps, our finance, we scroll down till we get to the C option, which is the effective option. The two pieces of information it requires is the percentage. So that's 5.94. Separate it with a comma, and then it wants how often it compounds per year. So it's 12 times per year. So you put your 12 in, close the bracket, hit the enter, and it will provide us that effective rate of interest. So in summary, comparing different accounts, interest rate accounts, can be very difficult just to take the percentage per annum and compare it that way. Because the amount of times that it compounds per year can have a significant effect about which account generates the most interest. So in order to make a comparison, we need to work out the effective rate of interest, which can be calculated either by using this formula here or by using that program that I've just shown in the TI84 plus CE calculator.